Good morning, bros. It is week number eight of the Winter Build series. We are just about done. We're into the last trimester of it, if you want to call it that. It's not pregnant, but you know. Anyways, made a couple changes to the diet this week. We're trying some new foods. I'll be showing you some of those in my breakfast in just a minute. We have also done nothing really different with the workout. Running has increased. We actually ran over 20 miles last weekend, which I have not ran 20 miles in a week since the marathon. So it's been a few weeks. It's actually commemorated by the Philly Marathon Cup today. But anyways, guys, finishing making breakfast right now, put my lunch already together, and we're gonna get ready to get out of the house to go get a run after we eat. All right, guys, so breakfast has been made. Of course, I have my coffee, which I showed you a minute ago. I have a nice bowl of the Aldi's brand chocolate protein pro pro meal. It's protein oats, but so far it has been very good. Digests really nicely and tastes fantastic and mixes really well. Now, breakfast. Now this looks new. So we got three whole eggs. I wanted to get goat cheese because goat cheese is the goat of cheese, but they didn't have any, so I had to settle for some feta. But on the side I got, it was on sale, I figured I'd try up some tofu. Now, I know, like I said in I think previous last week, uh, plant-based protein, a lot of people don't think is as optimal as regular protein from like your animal product. I'm willing to try that. I felt really good consuming a little bit of uh, pea protein here and there. So we're gonna try some soybean protein. Nothing wrong with it. Like I said, it was on sale. I wanted to try it, give myself something new. And uh, yeah, so let's see how it tastes. It tastes like nothing. It's like eggs, honestly, it's kind of weird. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this, get ready to go for my run, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so breakfast has been consumed. The car has been started so we can get ready to get out of here and go for this morning run. But lunch is just as boring as it has been lately. I have 200 grams of white rice, five ounces of ground turkey, 85.15. And I got about a, an ounce of spinach. I just threw it in there just to give myself some greens. A lot of people at work have been getting sick lately. Me personally, I'm trying to be ahead of that so that way I don't get sick so anyways this is lunch nice and healthy we're gonna get ready to go for a run also want to highlight another Aldi find they have these low carb energy drinks 30 calories 9 grams of carbs six of its sugar but you know for 85 cents can't beat it All right so it is 6 45 in the morning we are getting ready to go for a three mile run here at the Haynesport Municipal Park. Uh, it's like a 1.5 mile loop roughly. So two little loops around here. It's a bit dark out. I kind of think it's funny that they have these lights all around the park, like you kind of see one right there, but they're never on. So the trail's never lit, but uh, we forgot our headlamp today too. So a little bit more added fun to it, but <clears throat> I've been starting to do these morning's runs and they don't get easier because the weather always sucks. It's always cold. It's currently like 35 degrees or so. And uh, you'd rather stay inside. You'd rather go back to bed. You'd rather go do cardio at the gym. But when you got running goals, you got to get to, you got to do some stuff, especially stuff you don't want to do. So let's get ready. All right, run complete, 3.08 miles at an 8.54 minute per mile pace. Not bad, this cold weather, it's really conflicting. It's either you're breathing really good and your heart rate's low or you're breathing really bad and your heart rate's high. There's really like no in between with this stuff for me. But sun's coming up, I need to get to work in about 15, 20 minutes. It's only five minutes away, so we're good. But <clears throat> it's a solid run. 
definitely going to be adding a little bit more mileage as the weeks go on because I definitely have a little bit more time. So eventually get this up to like four miles. Hopefully in the summertime, I can get it closer to six. That'll be nice. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys in eight hours. Then we're going to go lift. Had a little bit of extra time. Decided to go get a wizard staff of coffee from 7-Eleven. 10 out of 10, recommend. It's just a perfect sign that that means I have to tack on another mile next week. So, oh well. All right, it is time. The wage cage has been released and I stopped at the vending machine before I left the wage cage to grab me a sleeve of Lance toasted peanut butter crackers. Figures a quick 180 calorie snack, get me through. Uh, I was getting a little tired, so I figured a little bit of carbs before the gym. Not having pre-workout tonight. I, uh, I one, ran out, and two, I'm gonna cut the caffeine back just a little bit. And I had that energy drink today, so I think we're good. Um, and two coffees, so I think we're beyond good. But not gonna film the whole workout, just take a couple clips here and there. It's my back and arms day. If you didn't see my back and arms day, check week seven was back at arms day that day but anyways going to test my bicep curl pr i think my recent pr was 140 or 145 for a single rep and that's without like curling your back and breaking form so really curious to see if i could hit 150 tonight i think that would be a pretty big milestone for me so anyways gonna finish these crackers and get on in there see you guys in a little bit <laughs> Workout is complete. It is torrentially downpouring and windy as all hell outside right now. And I remember how this morning it was about like 32 degrees when we started running. It's currently 56 degrees according to my dashboard, which is absolutely insane. Um, we're gonna go home. Workout wasn't too bad. And we're gonna go have ourselves some dinner. And I got a special treat that I've never had. This is trying new food in the diet, number two, but this food I've never had once in my life. So uh, should be interesting. Anyways, see you guys back at the house. All right, bros, we are back at the house and we had to park on the other side of the neighborhood because it's starting to flood. And I don't wanna turn the Subaru into a Scubaru. So I'm gonna walk in the rain a little bit, but we're gonna try our special snack before we eat our full dinner because just curious. I want to know. These are one of those things that people eat, but only select type of people seem to eat. But anyways, I kept hearing Thomas DeLauer talk about this on videos on YouTube, so I figured why not try sardines in oil. 
I mean, the macros on these is nuts. 200 calories for the whole pack. 14 grams of fat. It is only less than one gram of carbs, which is crazy. And then 19 grams of protein. Like this thing would be like a solid power snack if you really needed it. So we're gonna crack this shit open and see what these taste like. It's also only 85 cents at Aldi for the whole pack. So protein bars are like three bucks, 20, almost 20 grams of protein and fish. And there's only three ingredients, sardines, soy oil, salt. <laughs> pretty good anyways let's crack this shit open let's uh let's see you'll smell they smell fishy oh it's the look of them that's gross oh baby those shits are silver <laughs> all right look at that it's kind of nasty. All right. Cheers, bros. God bless. It looks worse than it tastes. Actually, pretty good. Will this become something in my regimen? I don't know. It's nasty. It's so many fears. It's gross. Probably not. But anyways, that's sardines, baby. All right, now that the sardines have been swallowed, um, we'll have the real dinner. We have a salad with tuna, some feta cheese, and I'm gonna be topping it with a tiny bit of this sauce. This is the Bang Bang Stir Fry Sauce. It's super calorically dense one tablespoon is 50 calories so i'm only going to do a little bit but uh i will be putting on some mustard and maybe a little bit of ketchup i don't know i've been doing that with my salads lately it's actually been pretty good so yeah nice and simple dinner i uh just gonna get through this and then that's about it for the night maybe a protein shake with some almond milk and that'll be it so I'm gonna go eat some dinner and watch some TV. Get the thought of those anchovies out of my mouth. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for today. I have eaten my dinner. I'm not gonna consume a protein shake and I've just been listening to this rain come down and it is making me very sleepy. So I'm just gonna wrap it up for the day. Eating plenty of food. I've worked out, gotten enough done to where I feel accomplished, but I'm getting to a point in the workouts where I, I think I need to switch a few things up because it's just starting to get rather bland going into this last you know couple of weeks. So I might need to spice things up a little bit just to get some more excitement. I'm going to see how I feel by the end of the week. Maybe take two days off of lifting just to see what it does. But uh, other than that, I'm ready to start running. I'm ready to get into this half marathon build. We have exactly 75 days as of January ninth until the Philadelphia Love Run. So I'm really excited to get working on that build. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, good rest of your day, good rest of your month. I will see you guys in the next one. Later, bros.